scientists have identified which parts of the brain are activated by different types of love. Researchers from Aalto University in Finland have identified which parts of the brain are involved in feeling love and affection. We have provided a more comprehensive picture of brain activity associated with different types of love than previous studies, says study co-author Pertaili Rinne, a philosopher. A team led by Rinne had previously identified which parts of the body are involved in 27 different types of love in a study conducted last year. The study noted that passionate love and love for life, for example, spread throughout the body. In the study, published today, August 26th, in the peer-reviewed journal Cerebral Cortex, Rinne and his colleagues focused on the brain rather than the whole body. The brain activity of 55 participants living in Helsinki, who had at least one child and who said they were in a happy long-term relationship, was monitored with MRI scans. Nearly half of the participants, 29 women and 26 men, had a pet. The researchers told the participants whose brains they monitored stories that would activate six different types of love. In addition to love for a child, friend, nature, pets, and love, love for a stranger was also examined. The scientists determined that activity in the brain depends on the object of love. For example, love for a person activates different regions than love for a pet or nature. The most surprising finding was that the brain regions associated with the types of love for people are very similar. Only the degree of activation changes. The researchers observed the strongest brain activity in love for a child. Love came right after that. Rinna says the following. In love for a child, there was activation in the striatum region, deep in the brain's reward system, when imagining love, and this was not seen in any other type of love. In addition, Love for nature activates the brain's reward system in areas related to visual processing, but it did not activate areas related to socialization. Another interesting result obtained in the study was that it was possible to understand whether a person has a pet by looking at the brain's movements. When looking at pet love and the brain activity associated with it, the brain regions associated with sociality statistically predict whether a person has a pet or not, Rinas said. These areas are more activated in pet owners than in non-pet owners. The researchers hoped the findings could help develop better treatments for attachment disorders, depression, or relationship problems.